Hello, Twe Twe. You guys, you will not believe it. Peter Obi is in the news today, and I bet you it's not for something good. <laughs> you guys, you are shocked, Abi. I'm shocked as well. It's not for so. It's not for something palatable at all. At all. It was quoted to have said that people should collect money from other politicians on the election day, but still vote for him. And now my question is: Is that not coming? <laughs> that one, that one is four one nine noon. If you ask people to collect money from other politicians but still come and vote for you, is that one not scam? Is that one not corruption? Is it not encouraging corruption? And by the way, it is against the electoral bylaws in Nigeria right now to collect money, to even exchange votes for money. It is against the laws of, of the land, of a country. Anyway, before we go ahead with today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not just subscribe since you're already watching? Just subscribe. Subscribe now. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the gang. Welcome to the community. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Leave your comments in the comment section as well. That is where we exchange opinions and ideas. Let me get your feedback on this video because I love to hear from you and I respond to all my comments. That is the hottest place on this channel and that is where we agree to disagree and sometimes we might not reach a resolution. So anyway, just drop your comments below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. A few hours ago, renowned political analyst and veteran journalist Dr. Ruben Abati came out to share his thoughts on the comments made by Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Gregory Obi, in which he asked Nigerians to vote their conscience even after collecting monies from his opponents seeking to buy votes on election day. Recalls that while addressing a crowd of supporters at a campaign rally in Port Harcourt, the River State Capitol, on Thursday, December 22, 2022, Obi urged them to not hesitate to collect monies from candidates who want to buy their votes because the cash being offered actually belongs to the Nigerian people. He, however, urged Nigerians to go ahead and vote for him even after collecting money has, or even after money has been given to them. Reacting to Obi's comments during a session of Arise TV's The Morning Show on Friday, Dr. Abati opined that, though it may appear that the Labour Party candidate was encouraging vote buying, thus violating the Electoral Act, when, however, the entire statement is put in its proper context, it shows that he has said nothing wrong. Hmm. He said the Electoral Act frowns at vote buying or any kind of inducement, whether it is money you are using or whether it is corn you are using or using roasted plantain to influence voters. What the law says that what the law says that says and what INEC has consistently insisted on is that look you must vote your conscience. The pillar of democracy is the ability of a people to make free and informed choices. So Mr. Obi is saying, oh, collect their money and vote for me. Well, it could be interpreted from one angle as him trying to encourage vote buying. But if you put it in context after saying that, he quickly went on to define what he, went, what he meant by that. Context is key. When analyzing language and communication, he went ahead to now say that the other people are doing the wrong thing. They are trying to induce you. But the money that I will give you is education, health care, security. He has always said, I will move Nigeria from consumption to production. Those were the key messages from that particular rally in Port Harcourt. Hmm. Anyway, if when, uh, when you first hear that um, statement, which Peter will be say you will be like 419, you know, is it not encouraging vote buying? 
But on the other hand, if you look at it deeply, we are in a kind of, you know, country <laughs> uh, where the climatic condition and the constitutional condition, political condition in the country encourages corruption and what have you, and even encourages people to go against the, the law, even though everybody knows that it's, it's, it is now in the constitution that do not influence people with whether money or whether, you know, rice, as, as they usually, you know, give out during this kind of period, it is well known, but political parties will still do it. You know, they will still find a way around it. They will still, you know, hide around and do it and then bribe officials that are supposed to monitor these things on the election day. Now, maybe Poli uh, Peter will be new that this is inevitable. Like, there's nothing he can do about it. On his own hand, he's not going out to share money. He's not giving out money to people. But he, he knew for sure that other political parties are going to be doing it. Other political parties are going to be giving out money. So there's no way he can control it. So the, the only thing they can tell people is that, okay, all right, they are going to be sharing money to you on election day. You can collect the money, but you know that even while you are collecting the money, you are not selling your conscience. You are still going to vote for me, vote for the right person. That is the kind of message Peter Obi is trying to pass across. I know some some have the opinions that is that not 419? Is that not why you why you? You are preaching against corruption and, uh, and you're asking people, you know, to scam. On the other hand, Peter Obi said that it is, it is Nigerians' money. And when you look at it critically, it's actually our money. It is our money, money that has been taken from us, you know, money that was being embezzled, you know, through corrupt practices. So directly or indirectly, you know, you are taking back the nation's money, if we look at it critically. But deep down, deep down, you know, vote buying is really, is really wrong. It's, it's really, really, really wrong. And the thing is, the only condition in which Peter Obi said people should collect this money is to still vote for their conscience, which means... You are collecting money, but you are not selling your conscience. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your opinion. Do you think um, these analyses are correct? What do you think about everything I've had to say? Let me hear from you in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.